welcome to the module so now we are going to introduce to do to our another unit which is available in our lab which is c dac which is called compact dac so the advantage of this dac when compared to that particular device is that even it can perform the same but but much more advanced manner it has better accuracy better resolution and better sampling rate too so that even a smaller signals that is required to be acquired can be acquired using this device so this i am going to place it on our anti vibration table so here we can see the both the devices one is uh, the previous device which i have explained you virtual bench and the compact dac i am going to place on my anti vibration table so this is an uh, anti vibration table you can see so that even any vibration it cannot affect or of the system that is being measured and on top of it you can see different channels modules those are called uh, different varieties of modules which are available for the data acquisition unit itself so we can see here one is analog input uh, input channel so where it can be used for input current as well as input voltage too and it has an on board adcs as well as amplifiers everything and this is for uh, you know bridge kind of circuit it can perform both half bridge and full bridge so in case when we are dealing with force sensors or strain gauge based force measurement units so since this is our this are resistive type of sensors one way is you require to convert your resistance change to a voltage output so one way to do is either a half bridge connection or full bridge connection so full bridge connection will always have very good sensitivity as well as very less linearity error when compared to that of your half bridge or something so in order to construct that so if we have a precise if we have a very sensitive uh, signal conditioning unit so it gives you more accuracy on your measured uh measured uh, voltages so one way to do is if we have an on board data acquisition uh, with a on board signal conditioning unit it helps very uh, very good so so how to place in this in the sense so if if you see to the chassis it contains different number of channels so simply select the required or required signal conditioning unit or they call it as a module and place it on the appropriate channel so the advantage is that it can be interchanged it need not to be fixed only to that particular channel even it can be fixed to the last channel anywhere wherever it is required so we also have analog output say it can produce up to 20 milli amps of current and it it is a 16 bit analog output too so even this you can use it in the same chassis itself and all units can be performed at the same time and other one is a quarter bridge analog unit the the pre, the, the difference between the previous module which i have showed to this module is uh, by making use of the previous module you can perform a quarter bridge half bridge and a full bridge but by using this module we cannot perform half bridge as well as uh, you know full bridge this is only meant for quarter bridge applications so even this i can place it on the module on the chassis just simply plug and play very easy to connect it and this is another one which i already told you it's analog input uh, either voltage as well as uh, uh, current can be taken as an input to this system so even this i'm connecting it here now once i plug in so if i want to visualize and if i want to acquire the data in a pc so what we have to do is that so since it is a compact dac it should always be connected to the pc one way of connection is either directly connecting the lan connection to the pc or it if it can connect to the same network if it can connect to the same network the purpose can be served so now i am powering it up so we can see here the power has been powered up and it is connected using a lan right so what i do is that 
I will take few wires by using this vir virtual bench, I will connect it to the DC power supply and if I vary the signals from the DC power supply, we can observe the signals being generated, uh, uh, being acquired using this uh, C DAC in our monitor. So, signals can be generated using uh, PC from the virtual bench and the same signals can be acquired using another compact DAC and can be acquired into this data acquisition device to the PC using this data acquisition device and if even that we can visualize. In between there is another software called LabVIEW. So, what we can do is that whatever the data that is being acquired using this particular device that can be acquired using that device and can be done a further processing using that device or if I want to make use of the same device for controlling even we can do that. So, now what I will do is that in order to make understand ourselves. So, I will connect a power supply unit to this. And this is a positive. So, what I am doing is I am unplugging this device. So, here if I see AI 0 plus and 0 minus. So, the first channel. So, here if you see there is different number of channels starting from uh, 0 to 7. So, total it has 8 channels for analog acquisition which can measure up to plus or minus 10 volts. So, it has both positive terminal and negative terminal what it does is that it can measure a differential input. Some cases where when you are using a quarter bridge or when you are using a half bridge or full bridge whatever the voltage signal it is being generated from the bridge signals are not a uh, independent voltage it is a differential output voltage. So, if I want to make use of a differential input one way to do is that we have to make use of this device. So, what I do is that I will connect this is some kind of a spring connection. So, to the first channel it need not to be only to the first channel it can be connected to any channel. So, right now I am connecting to the first channel. So, since it is a spring device I have to press it and place this. Connect it then to the negative so while pressing it I will connect it. So, now we see how do we connect our negative. So, since it is also a spring. So, I am pressing it, I am placing it into the hole, removing it. So, now it is connected. Once it is connected, I am placing it into the chassis. So, the number is this 9207, whatever I am using is 9207, right. So, from the hardware point of view, we have done all the connection, necessary connections required to acquire the data using the CDAC and to generate the data using uh, voltage signals using this voltage source from the workbench. Now, how do we acquire, how do we visualize the signal in the software that we will see that. So, last time we have already seen how to generate a data using National Instruments workbench. Now, we will see uh, the generation in the software and acquisition using this level. So, once we finish our hardware connection, so now, now we will look into the software. So, first step is generation of voltage signal. So, to generate that first I have to open the virtu virtual bench software which we have seen in the last time. So, so right now it is being connected using Wi-Fi device that we can see here and I am going to virtual bench software start NMX. This is for CDAC just to test the device has been uh, connected and whether it is working or not. So, here we can see since it is connected using a LAN in a server, here we can see what are all devices is being NI devices is being connected in uh, in a MAX. And here if I click on to the network devices, we can see the device name which is connected NIC DAC 9189. So, on top of it if I refresh it, what are all the channels is being connected can be tested it here, can be seen here. So, here we can see the device under the network devices we can see what are all devices is being connected 
on, uh, on the same chassis what are all different modules are being connected. So, right now we are making use of the module uh, module 4 which is connected at the fourth channel which is NI9207 which is being connected to that. So, if I go to the test panels here to just test whether the uh, module is working or not. So, we can make use of the test panels and we can work through. So, so I will go through the continuous equation and the channel whatever I being connected is was AI0. So, I am selecting AI0 channel and the sample sturdity is 10 samples and the sampling rate is 20 H if I say. What I will do is that from the virtual bench software which we have seen last time, since I have connected a DC power supply of 0 to 6 volts to an input to this particular module module NI9207. So, here I will be switching on this module. So, right now I am applying 0 to 1 volt in the test panels in the test panels if I start it. So, when we see here, so the input voltage being applied is 1 volt we can easily see in the test panels. I changed to 2 volts changed 3 volts, but why it is slow because the sampling rate whatever I used is of 2 H. Suppose if I make it as some 1 kilo. So, we can see very fast change in the input voltage too. So, the maximum is 6 volts, 6 volts. So, this is the one way to, to check uh, whether uh, the, uh, the test panels or uh, to check whether the particular device is being acquired or whether the device is working or not by using the test panels. But if I want to do some further processing, you cannot do any further processing using this particular test panels. So, how to do in the sense we have to write a program or write an algorithm in a LabVIEW software. So, I can open LabVIEW. So, once we open it, so this is how the LabVIEW one looks like. So, new VI. So, here we can acquire the data using measurement IO or we can go to express and I can make use of uh, single input data assist. acquire signals and log input voltage by using uh, module 4 AI0. This is where we have connected to 9207, just finish it. After this, so how many number of samples that we need or I can make it as continuous uh, samples, then samples to read uh, rate at is of uh, 10k or 1k we can keep and the samples to read I am making it as 100 samples to read. Yes, so the data whichever is being acquired I will be displaying it on the front panel by using a meter or some gauges. So, I am connecting it to the gauge. this is a guess and connecting to the data. So, if I run the PC system, so let me switch off, I uh, will enable digital display to this too, digital display. So, that easy to visualize the digital data and I am switching it on. Once it switches on, we can see. Three volts, three volts, two, one. Right? So, whatever the data that is required, we can acquire using this particular software and using the software with the different functionalities that are available with the software like 
uh, different loopings that we want to do, array functionalities, numeric, uh, any other applications like control, logical and actuation of something, everything can be implemented here and again we can give it back to any plant. So, this is how this can be useful for acquiring as well as uh, monitoring or uh, acquisition of the signals from a sensor and to do the processing using that. Thank you.